hello children have a nice day okay uh, this recording class is for uh, those who could not join in the class due to network issue or anything else okay so you can uh, we can sum up uh, what we have learned so far okay um, okay our first unit is um, hues and weaves okay hues and views uh, in that we have the first lesson is the mysterious picture by charles d cost okay what is a mysterious picture what is meant by mysterious here is a picture okay um, uh, in that class we have already uh, observed it closely and we uh, came to understand that the, there are many other pictures in one picture okay Uh, and you identified many things in this picture and uh, we have to uh, observe it very closely then only we can identify the mysterious things in that picture okay now we can go to the lesson uh, the main character of this lesson is it is the glorious adventures of till ullen spiegel okay Uh, it narrates the story of uh, of an artist okay okay then till in the course of his wanderings from court to court rode to the palace of the archduke of battenberg on his donkey his clothes and appearance attracted everyone's attention his cap was set smartly on his head and the three bright feathers on it danced in the breeze as he rode at the main entrance to the palace the captain of the guards called out to him hey there you fell on the donkey we don't allow any loafers here you and your donkey already look like skeletons okay till uh, after many wanderings after um, traveling from court to court till rode to the palace of the archduke of battenberg okay i ask you to underline the word archduke of battenberg the palace of the archduke of battenberg that is a setting of this story okay uh, till rode to the palace of the archduke of battenberg on his donkey his clothes and appearance the physical appearance attracted everyone okay everyone's attention his cap was met very uh, his cap was set smartly very smartly on his head and there were three bright feathers on it and it was dancing in the breeze as he rode breeze means the uh, very uh, slight wind okay it were uh, th these feathers were dancing in the breeze as he rode on the donkey at the main entrance to the palace the captain of the guards called out to him he called him hey there you fell on the donkey we don't allow any loafers loafers here means wanderers okay you and your donkey already look like skeletons skeletons means uh, something um, that is only skeleton only the bone without any flesh okay the captain of the guards and here is a description of the captain of the guards okay in the first paragraph we can uh, have the description of till uh, from his clothes uh, to as he rode uh, we can have the description of uh till and you can put it in brackets this uh, this part you can put it in bracket and sec uh, second paragraph in that second paragraph also first from the captain of the guards you can um, open the brackets okay the captain of the guards what type of a person was he the captain of the guards was a tall well built very healthy person red haired man of about 25 he was handsomely dressed in his gold braided uniform his in his uniform there was a gold braid tai looked till looked at him coolly and then dismounted from his donkey till looked at um, captain of guards and then uh, climbed down from his donkey dismounted means climbed down he bowed in respect he bowed low and said um may god bless you sir captain um if i look like a skeleton it's not my fault if i look like a skeleton a born bonish person 
it's not my fault it's not my mistake i am very hungry i am very hungry and i i have come here because i am forced to okay i am forced to come here if you will be so good as to give me a piece of the gold a coat that you wear on your coat okay if you are willing to give me a piece of gold coat gold thread that you wear on your coat i will go and hang myself where will i hang i will ha uh, go and hang myself by the teeth on the large leg of mutton that i see hanging in that butcher shop there was a humor in this uh, sentence okay uh, while he was coming to um, the palace of the archduke of uh, battenberg he saw a butcher shop and a mutton was hanging there mutton leg of mutton was hanging there and he said that if he uh, if the a uh, captain of guard uh, will give him a gold thread from his coat he will go and hang himself by that uh, golden thread on the teeth by the teeth on that large leg of mutton that i uh, he could see hanging in that butcher shop the captain was playing a game of chess with another officer he looked curiously at till he was very anxious and he uh, looked at him very anxiously where do you come from he asked from flanders replied phil uh, till sorry uh, till replied that he was from flanders okay what do you want i should like to show his highness the archduke one of my paintings i am a painter okay uh, he said that he should like to show his highness the uh, that archduke of the palace um one of his paintings he wanted to show one of his paintings and he is, uh, introduced himself as a painter well if you are a painter and if you come from flanders you may come in okay and captain uh, of the captain of guards was very much impressed when he heard that he was um, a painter from flanders and he asked him to come in because what is the reason for that the captain knew that flemish painters and their pictures were in great demand all over europe okay they were very much impressed and uh, all the people uh, appreciated their paintings in uh, europe okay till was presented to the archduke and till was uh, presented before the archduke he saluted the archduke three times and stood before him with his head bowed in respect may your highness pardon me for my rashness in thinking that one of my paintings will please your highness okay i think that one of my paintings will please you will very uh, you will like my paintings okay and uh, you just pardon me you just forgive me for my rashness uh, i am very much proud of my paintings i have brought a picture of our lady the virgin virgin mary in her royal robes in her royal dress robes means dress i have painted it specially so that it might lay it at your noble feet i wanted to um, lay it at your feet that is why i have painted it so specially till paused a few moments paused me stopped a few moments for his words to sink in then he continued you must forgive me you must um, pardon me your highness if i have dared to hope that this picture will please you okay i am very much courageous to think that this picture will please you very much so you just pardon me for that your highness might wish to offer me the chair of your court painter who died recently i can see the empty velvet chair waiting to be filled okay uh, and he could see the uh, because uh, they are court painter the court painter of the uh, palace of battenberg died recently and he knew it very well till knew it very well and he could see the empty velvet chair waiting to be filled by another court painter okay the virgin's picture was a splendid painting very beautiful painting and the archduke made up his mind and he prepared himself at once to uh, watch the picture he embraced and he uh, caught hold of the 
painter and kissed him on both cheeks and he said i shall be delighted to make you my court painter i shall be very happy to make you my court painter he directed him to the chair and made him sit on it and he asked him to sit on the chair of the court painter well my dear fellow he said you do have a tongue in your head and you certainly seem to know how to use it you are a very talkative fellow that means uh, you do have a tongue in your head means uh, it means that he is very talkative person he is uh, like to talk very much who till according to archduke till is a very talkative person aren't you your highness may it please you to remember me and my donkey okay um, you have to remember me and my donkey jeff the donkey's name is jeff for just one more minute till replied my donkey has been feeding himself fairly well all along the way on the thorns in the hedges and the grass on the road side okay he has been the donkey has been feeding himself very well but because he could uh, get many uh, grass thorns or uh, all thing along the way on the road side okay but i have nothing to eat but i have had nothing to eat for the past 3 days for the past 3 days i i have been um starving without any food my stomach has been complaining very loudly you know that my stomach has been complaining because i didn't get any food so it has been complaining very loudly perhaps your highness can even hear it now uh, perhaps your highness you uh, the archduke uh, you can hear the sound of my stomach it, now i have been feeding myself with dreams now i have been feeding i have been feeding myself with dreams of good food i have been very uh, dreaming about good food and drink at your royal table and i, I am waiting uh, that means that uh, what is the meaning of that tile is waiting to get good meal and drink from the royal palace okay okay uh, so i ask you to write the um, meanings of those words flush descendant summon okay that is uh, you can do it in the next class okay uh, then uh, go through the paragraphs again and understand okay next in the next class we can discuss about it and we can continue the next part thank you